Good morning, everybody. I'm making breakfast this morning. The kids have been wanting some cinnamon rolls. I forgot to put any kind of cinnamon rolls in the grocery pickup order. I could totally do homemade cinnamon rolls. I have like two or three homemade cinnamon roll videos. I'll link them down below for y'all. But this morning, I have crescent rolls. Ta-da! And we're going to try to turn these into crescent rolls cinnamon style. Cinnamon crescent rolls. So what I'm going to do is make the cinnamon filling like I would make for cinnamon rolls. And we're going to roll that up into the crescent rolls and make some icing to go on top of them. So semi-homemade cinnamon crescent rolls. I'm not sure if I need to make this entire like all the filling because it's for like a big 9 by 13 pan of cinnamon rolls. We'll see. I'm just going to go ahead and make the whole recipe. So we need a cup of brown sugar. Now we need a third of a cup of all-purpose flour. I got flour all over me. <laughs> it's kind of chilly this morning, so I'm wearing a sweatshirt. Yes, it's a Christmas one. It's okay. It's totally okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm just mixing the brown sugar and the flour together. Now we're going to put in one and a half tablespoons of cinnamon. We've got that mixed together. Now we put in a stick of softened butter. And that's it. We just mash this down and get it mixed really good with the flour and sugar and cinnamon. Okay, now we're just gonna take some of the cinnamon mixture, spread it onto the crescent rolls, and then roll them up, and that's it. We're gonna see how this turns out. I've already got the oven preheated, so once we get all of these filled and rolled up, they'll be ready to go in the oven. I hope they turn out good. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Okay, y'all, the cinnamon rolls are done, bacon is done, eggs are done. Now, well, not cinnamon rolls, crescent cinnamon rolls. Now, we're gonna make the icing that's gonna go on top of them. I'm just gonna put a little powdered sugar in here and a little bit of heavy cream. I used to do this with milk until I found a recipe that used heavy cream and it is so good. I didn't measure this, I'm just kind of eyeballing it here. You could also do the cream cheese frosting, but I'm just gonna go with this one this morning. These have been cooling a little bit while I was finishing the bacon and eggs, so they shouldn't melt the icing too much. You know what? Let's put it in a little baggie. I was going to try to do it like this, but it's still too thick. here to tell y'all that these are very good. I quite possibly almost might like this more than a cinnamon roll. What does everybody else think about them? You like it better than a cinnamon roll? Probably better than a cinnamon roll. It is really good. Crescent rolls are just heavenly.
my hair before I started talking to y'all, but I decided I would show you for real. I've been outside for probably the past two hours, and apparently my hair's looked like this the whole time. I mean, what? Nobody told me. And thankfully, we didn't see anybody but the birds, but still, they were probably like, girl, what is up with your hair? I'll be right back. So here's the deal. It's Saturday and at around three o'clock, I think it was, Titus told me that him and all the boys were gonna go to the Western store. Once again, me and Cece did not wanna go to the Western store only because the Western store that they like to go to is almost two hours away. It's like an hour and a half away and there are no other stores. I mean, none around it that we would wanna go into, like none. <laughs> So instead of taking that hour and a half ride to the Western store, we would rather stay here and watch movies. Here's the dilemma. They told me they were gonna go to the Western store right at like three or so. And we had leftovers from last night. We had three hamburgers left, I think, and eight or nine hot dogs because mostly everybody ate hamburgers except for Aldra. She was the only one who ate a hot dog. So I was like, that's fine. We'll just have leftover hot dogs tonight and we'll have a girls movie night in. Well, then they decided that they would wait and go to the Western store on another day because they wanted to go ride their horses. So by the time they decided that, it was kind of late for cooking supper. It's almost six o'clock now. I thought me and CC and Manly were just gonna be having the leftover hot dogs while all the guys went to the Western store. But now everybody's here. So what do you do? You make more hot dogs. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do because it's already almost six o'clock. And we have, like I said, I think eight or nine hot dogs left over from last night. I just started some tea because I didn't do that this morning. So I'm about to make this tea and then we're just gonna cook these hot dogs. It's still gonna be kind of different because like I said, the only person who ate a hot dog last night was Cece. Everybody else had cheeseburgers, so. And Cece found a really pretty flower just laying on the road. It was just laying on the road. It's real too, it's not fake, it's real. Got a little bug on there. No, you ain't coming in here. It's so pretty. It matches my shirt. So I put a playlist to some movies in yesterday's video. I'll put it in this one too, in case y'all missed yesterday's video. I found a couple of movies that I didn't even know were on YouTube for free. Sometimes you can find some for free on YouTube, but something will be kind of messed up with them. Like either their voices will be off, um, like, you know, their mouth will be moving, but the words are not with their mouth there'll be something wrong with it or either it'll be really zoomed in. I'm trying not to link any of those. I'm making sure that they all play through right and that they're not messed up in any way. I think I have like four or five movies on the playlist now. And so as I find some, I'm just gonna add more to the playlist. Okay, let's start these hot dogs. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in my pan. I got this pretty oil jar from Dollar General. We have chow chow too. That's exciting. That's gonna be good on a hot dog. If you don't know about chow chow, it's like, okay, it's a home style Southern relish is what it says on there. Great on hamburgers, hot dogs, sandwiches, salads, and with pinto beans. You know that it came from the South if they wanna make clear that it's good on pinto beans. <laughs> and y'all thought it was just gonna be hot dogs. I went to see if I had more French fries and I saw the corn on the cob. So we're gonna make some corn on the cob and I found baked beans in the canned food cabinet. So we're going to do baked beans, corn on the cob, and hot dogs. We just took this up to the next level and we have chow chow. Supper is ready. Hot dog with ketchup, mustard, onions, and chow chow. Corn on the cob, baked beans, and chips for those who want chips. All right, y'all, we finished eating and there's still just a little bit of daylight. So we came back outside for a few minutes. It's the quack quacks. Are they going to bed? Say not not. Titus is in the garage and Manly hears him talking, but he doesn't know to go around to the front that he's in the garage. Right there. There he is. <laughs> kitchen clean. Everybody's ready for bed. I mean, can we all just agree that these things are kind of scary? What in the world? Mmm, Cece smells really good. Very scented. Oh, no, yours is actually warm. Have you been holding it or something? <laughs> She's gonna get the giggles about it. What's going on, Manny? What are you doing? <laughs> you riding a horsey? They're doing measurements for saddle pads or something. 
Jonah and Sissy are up here. Let's see what they're doing. Who's winning? Me. So whoever wins, wins the dollar and the Play-Doh? Yeah. And that's your